so you've been riding e-bikes for uh, two years? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Are you familiar, maybe through news articles, of e-bike battery fires? Yeah, I have heard about that. Yeah, so you're familiar, it's like a chemical reaction, right? It burns aggressively. It's a, it's a real nasty thing, although it's rare. It's like those hoverboards. Same concept, yes. Yeah. Even smartphones, really, it's the lithium in the battery. Lithium is highly combustible. That's why it's great for energy storage. So today, I figured we can, uh, we can test out something to help you solve this potential issue. Okay. So, uh, I brought in my goodie bag here. This is something I helped to popularize, and it's going to go ahead and take credit for it. These are, quote-unquote, fire-safe battery bags. You can buy them off of Amazon. This right here is the best seller, brand new. And I was thinking about ways to test this, right? I mean, you're not going to put, like, a log in here and set it on fire and see if the bag contains it. Because you want to replicate the chemical fire found in the lithium battery as much as possible. And the best way you found of doing this is through road flares. Oh my god, I just realized what you came here for. <laughs> so, because a lithium battery burns at 2000 degrees Celsius, chemical, self-sustaining, and this burns at 1600 degrees Celsius. So these battery bags are not the only solution you have. I've seen some people put their batteries inside of like a grill or a fireplace if they have to charge it inside and they're concerned about this. Is this a one size fits all? Uh, no, but this right here is a very good elongated size. This will fit most e-bike batteries. I'll leave this model linked below the video and depending on how this goes, you may or may not want to buy it. See, so yeah, I mean, this can fit most, most batteries. So my expectations, really when it comes to these bags, in the worst case scenario, you want it to buy you time, right? So you can be aware that something is happening and you can hopefully, you know, grab it by the handles and chuck the battery outside. Safety first. Safety first. So here's your flare. And I always here's... wondered why there were fucking wildfires in California. And here's my flare. Now I know. Yeah, we're doing this responsibly. Eco-friendly formula. Yeah, eco-friendly. I made sure to get the eco-friendly ones. So when a battery fire exists, each cell kind of acts like a flare. It has a chemical burst of fire for a couple of seconds, and then it's usually a chain reaction. The heat causes the next battery cell to burst flames. So this is a good representation of one uh, super big battery cell. And I think the configuration here in the bag is going to be, we're going to do two flares at once, hopefully pointing fairly close to the wall like so and we're gonna see if it melts or if it doesn't melt that's what it's gonna look like all right cool let's do it that's a good representation of a battery just just for context now this is what we're trying to replicate just to <laughs> that's a bad fire there you go just hold it point it down and away from you good uh you can place it in Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm just Velcroing it. Alright, so right away, the bag is burning. Stand upwind. Okay, so. Definitely not working. <laughs> immediately not working. Hopefully, that's a good view for you guys. You can see it burned a hole, the bag is slightly on fire. It's probably better than just a bare exposed battery. The handles are still there, so if need be, you can grab the handles and throw it outside. So while this is burning, I guess I'll give you guys just a few uh, down-to-earth tips. So battery fires are extremely rare. Lithium is combustible, but in a battery that's properly constructed, it's designed not to catastrophically fail like this. So as long as you buy a quality battery by a reputable brand, uh, exploding shouldn't be an issue. This becomes more of a threat when you buy cheap knockoff batteries from overseas. You don't know how it's constructed, especially like the BMS, if there's a short circuit that could potentially cause this to happen, as well as physical damage. So if you drop the battery or it's punctured, especially if it's punctured, that could trigger a battery fire. And by the way, all this is applicable to regular lithium iron batteries, same ones found in your phone and a million other devices, and fires are extremely rare. I think with e-bikes, the reason why this is more of a concern 
is because of the size of the battery. These batteries are huge, so when they do catch fire, it's a much larger event, much like with a Tesla. If you ever see those explode, it's it's huge because the battery is huge. But yeah, because e-bike batteries are so large and expensive, the temptation to cheap out is certainly there, but I would strongly advise against doing that because a cheaper battery increases the minuscule odds of a battery fire. Nice slight update. It's been like five to 10 minutes. Battery bag finally caught fire. How hot do you think it is in that bag right now? Can't read it. Can't read it? No, it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, because you see the bag? Well, so on the outside, it's four. It's about 500. Yeah, a little shy of 500 degrees on the outside. All right, it's been 15 minutes. This is what's left. You can see the remnant of the flare. Okay, so let's recap what we learned here. So clearly the bag was not a foolproof solution. That was not my expectations going into this. I said that really what I was looking for was for the bag to buy you a few minutes to realize something was wrong and to act upon it. As we saw, the side of the bag where the flare was pointing melted essentially instantaneously. But the rest of the bag did hold up. Eventually it did catch fire, the entire bag, but not initially. Again, potentially giving you some time to react, as well as a way to handle the battery and dispose of it. Because if you have a battery inside that catches fire and it's not inside of a bag, you can't pick it up to throw it outside. So that alone might be worth the $20. I do think overall using a flare was a pretty good representation of a lithium battery fire. It's a chemical reaction. According to my Googling, they burn at a very similar temperature. And even the, the way the flame is, it's, it's a pretty good comparison. I think way better than just like a wood fire. If you guys disagree and you think it wasn't a good experiment, please let us all know in the comments why. And finally, I do want to use this opportunity to once again reiterate the rarity of this event. Your battery, most likely, is not going to spontaneously catch fire. The odds of that happening are elevated if you cheap out and you buy something random from overseas at half price, right? You don't know the quality control in that factory. There could be, uh, the wiring could not be done professionally. It could enable a short circuit to happen and that could lead to a battery fire eventually. And you take good care of the battery, right? You don't physically abuse it as well as the storage where you keep it within healthy limits. A good reminder here is lithium ion batteries prefer the same temperature range as humans. So don't expose the battery to extreme cold or extreme heat, and especially don't charge in those extreme conditions. And aside from that, I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say on the topic. I will leave the bag linked below because the level of mitigation is very low, but the price tag is only 20 bucks, so it might be better than nothing. But if you follow all these battery safety rules, you buy quality, you take care of it, and you keep it in a, one of these bags, uh, the likelihood of something bad happening is exceedingly small. So keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.